What's up guys, my name is Liam and today we're going to be doing an overview of the Ponage and BLG collab of the new Stormbreaker. They did update the side buttons on this, mouse one and two, so how does it stack up against the competition and more importantly, is this going to be the perfect gaming mouse for you? Let's check it out. Before we get started, I did want to let you know this was sent out to me. However, everything in this video is going to be my own words and my own opinions. Included inside the box, they do give you two separate style of grips, the smaller ones and then the larger style grips. Also does come with a USB-C cable, user manual, an extra set of skates. They also do include this screwdriver that does allow you to change and position the sensor at the bottom of the mouse. And they do have the same design for the receiver as before, but this time they have in this cool looking silver colorway. So I will just kind of do a rundown and comparison of the original one. This one I did actually pre-order myself, I believe at the time I started my YouTube channel or right before I started it. And I believe that this arrived to me sometime in June of last year, something like that. So I have had this mouse for a year. I've used it quite a lot. I've even put this on my top ergo list uh, during the end of last year. So I have been really enjoying it. I've seen a few different reviews with people having some different experiences with their original copy than I did. So I always do recommend that you do watch as many reviews as possible. But like I said, I did actually purchase this unit. It wasn't sent out to me. And honestly, this thing has held up solidly for me throughout the past year and I do still use it quite a bit. I haven't had any major issues with my copy itself. Everything about it feels solid. The buttons feel pretty good. I would say that they did slightly loosen up just a little bit from when I first got them. They were just a little bit more stiff. But like I said, aside from that, the full functionality of this still feels really great. So starting out over here on the bottom, everything looks pretty similar. The one thing that they did add on this, however, I think it's a really cool touch. They did add this like little ruler down here. So it can help you a lot if you decide you want to try and move the sensor around. If you find a position you like, but then you get bored, you want to try something else. So if you wanted to go back, you should be able to do it much easier with these little notches down here. But coming back over to the top, everything still does feel pretty similar on here. As far as the coating goes, it still kind of has a smoother and more of a slipper type of a feeling of coating to me. Now it does have these holes on the side that does give you some additional grip. I personally am not a fan of having holes on the side of my mice, but the grips that this does come included with, I do feel like they're really great feeling. They do feel really premium. And I honestly really have been enjoying having the grips on the side of this mouse. So I actually do plan on as soon as this video is done, I'm gonna put the grips on here. The only reason I didn't add them before the review is because I get requests to leave them off for when I do the wing and stuff like that. But aside from that, as far as the actual feeling of this goes, everything feels pretty similarly. And like I said, I didn't have any build quality issues at all with my shell with the first copy. And same thing goes with this one. Everything feels really solid. I was kind of just poking all around the mouse and I did find that this corner right here, it still has a little bit of movement to it. But just to be perfectly clear, the only way I even discovered this is just because I purposely was looking for it and trying to find it as I have been using this in game and with my grip style, I have not noticed any type of bending or anything like that with my grip style. So everything about the feeling of the shell has been really solid for me. I've been using this a lot for the past couple weeks now. And the one thing, like I said, when I got this out of the box, the switches were very stiff with this new copy. The switches right out of the bat, they didn't feel very stiff. They actually feel much lighter weight. And I don't really feel like there's any type of a break in period with mouse one or two. They feel really similar to me from the first day I got this out of the box. And huge difference just overall on the implementation. On this one, like I said, they're much more stiff. And and as you get up towards the top, they would very dramatically get much more stiff, even clicking up here at the very top. And this one, they're just very lightweight and feel like butter. They do get slightly a little bit more stiff up here at the top, but it isn't very noticeable, very easy to click through and through. So I have a lot of mice at this point with these Omron opticals in it. And I would say that they really nailed down the click implementation on this copy. These are some of the best feeling Omron opticals that I've used in a mouse to date. And with them being really easy to click, the tolerances on these, like you get almost no pre-travel, a little bit of post-travel there, it can make some contact with the base, but nothing bad. They do feel really good and I'm not getting any type of side to side play on mouse one or two. The scroll still feels pretty similar to the first copy. It does kind of have these aggressive grooves on the top. I have seen some people complain about these in the past. And for me personally, I don't mind them. I'd rather them be this way and feel a little bit more grippy 
but I don't really use the scroll wheel too aggressively to where they bother me or anything like that. I still would prefer a rubberized scroll wheel, but again, the functionality of this does feel great. The way that this scrolls, it is a little bit stiffer on the notches, but I do kind of like it that way. And the center click, I really do like the overall tensioning of this scroll wheel. They also did make adjustments to the side buttons. I really enjoyed the side buttons a lot on the first copy, but they do feel a lot more stiff. So on this one, you get the same fantastic feeling. You get like actually no pre and very minimal post travel no matter where you click these side buttons from. So I'd put these at the absolute top of some of my favorite side buttons out there on the market. You don't get any type of major teetering from side to side, and they feel much lighter than the first copy. The entire feeling of this to me is very premium and it is a much more refined version than the first copy. So let's go ahead and jump into the click sound test and I'll go ahead and compare it up against my original copy. I've been using this nonstop with the 4K pulling rate since I did get out of the box. And the battery hasn't been lasting very long on me. It's just been lasting a little over a day. And for me personally, I actually do prefer it that way. I would really rather have a lighter battery. But the only reason that I'm even bringing that up is because I do get asked that question quite a bit. But when it does come to the weight and balance, I mean, everything on this just feels refined and spot on. Perfect front to back and left to right on my scale coming in at approximately 52 grams. Taking a look at the software, easy for me to use on this page, I was able to adjust the pulling rate. And on this next page, it does allow you to adjust the DPI lift off distance, even turn on or off motion sync. And these are the settings that I'm currently using on this mouse. The performance is clearly top tier and has been feeling fantastic at everything that I've thrown at it. All right guys, so that wraps things up on the Ponage and BLG Stormbreaker. I'm not gonna go into any shape comparisons because I've already done several shape comparisons on this mouse throughout the year. As I've already clearly been stating in this review, this thing does feel fantastic. I would still absolutely put this as one of my favorite ergo mice on the market. I love the shape, everything about the feeling of it and the way that it plays in game. So if this is something that you are interested in checking it out, I can absolutely give it my recommendation. Two thumbs up. Everything about this has felt fantastic. All right guys, so if you have any questions or feel like I left anything out, please let me know down in the comments below. If you have enjoyed watching this video and are interested in seeing more videos like this in the future, please drop this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.